Thanks for staying with us. So according to reports, the Lagos State Ministry of Education has warned private schools in the states to shun the idea of resuming for third term academic session until lockdown period is over. We have with us the Commissioner for Education in Lagos State, uh, Mrs. Fulashadi Adifisa. Good morning, madam. Are you there? Yes, I'm there. Good yeah. morning. Good. Going by the last press release from your office, you did state that third term should be suspended until further notice. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, in the same press release, you're also advising that parents and teachers and the parents and schools should come to have a dialogue on how to go, go, go ahead with having their uh, online learning. So a lot of parents in Lagos State are confused. Mm -hmm. Are we doing third term or we're not? Well, um, I think um, my thought initially, and our thought first, I thought we, we had a meeting with quite a number of stakeholders, and we all agreed that uh, regardless of whether we open third term or not, learning must go on. Okay. Uh, and as educationists, I, I think we did not want to box ourselves into silos of first, second, third term, but that the children continue learning regardless. But I can see that um, parents are very concerned. Is, that, is it third term work? It's really the sessions work that can go on through online learning. And we are quite comfortable with schools continuing to teach, continuing, uh, which we are doing, by the way, in our own uh, uh, radio uh, program. We are also continuing the syllabus from where we left off. It's just that we are just stating that watch out about third term. Because we don't, what if the Ghana government pushes third term to a much later date, then what will we do at that time? So we're not confused. So if, once the lockdown is lifted, okay, once yeah. we go back to life, is, uh, right, life go back to normal, are we then going to start third term all over again? That, that is the concern of most of us as well. Mm -hmm. And I will say that it's, I don't want us to start thinking that when the lockdown is removed and parents start going out, automatically we will allow children to go back to school. There are too many factors involved in allowing children to go back to school. Immediately parents start work. And so we are reasonably certain that it will take much longer mm. for the schools to open than for parents to go back to work. It, it doesn't matter whether you are teaching uh, first, I can, as a teacher, can teach first term work in third term, or third term work in first term, depending on how the students are learning. So, as, as the education, where education is say, keep on teaching, keep on following the syllabus. Whenever we open, then we'll yeah, go we'll back to talking. revision. Don't forget that online learning cannot be a full substitute for right. physical learning. Hmm. There are too many things the children would not be able to do. Right. All their normal, um, their lab work, they won't do it. Things like extracurricular activities that are essential for learning, they will not do it. Right. As a government now, as a regulator, yeah. are you willing to, are you, do you have plans to give out a, a curriculum that parents can access so that they're sure that whatever the school is giving them may stand But you know you can access the curriculum as it is right now. It doesn't have to be on an online curriculum. The online curriculum will be the same as the one that we are doing in school. Mm. 